Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, representing that Trail 5 till I die. Uh, Trick Daddy Dollars, of course, some of y'all know me from rapping, um, a slip and slide record recording artist, the owner of Sunday's Eatery. From what I hear, it's the best restaurant in Miami-Dade County, so if you're ever in town, make sure you come through and get yourself something to eat. Well, today is the first segment of the cooking show. Bitch, I got my pots. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all a little something. See, they told me that the stomach was the way to a woman hard, so I've been trying since I was a little old boy to cook real good for my woman, you hear me? So today what I'm gonna cook for her is some Rasta pasta. That's right, jerk chicken and shrimp pasta. And I got my main man, my executive producer of the show, CO, he gonna come help me today. What's up, my boy? What's up, baby? What's going on, Steve? Man, this looking good in here, man. We gonna do the, we gonna do the jerk chicken pasta thing. Ooh. I had the chicken breast soaking in the the jerk marinara all night. All right. I cooked the shrimp real, real slow with just butter. Okay. I got all my ingredients, my garlic, my, my uh, paprika, my ginger. Wow. My, uh, my ground garlic, black pepper, salt, and of course, grated Parmesan cheese. And we got some margarine right there. Oh, I like that. And I like the whole board, the trick daddy board. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you know, I, I do my thing sometimes. Oh, so of course, we using Vidalia onions, okay. the green, yellow, and red peppers. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to taste these. What, what's those called? What kind of onions? Is Vidalia onions. Those are sweet onions, but I don't know. I don't know about you tasting them. I not taste a little piece, just a piece. Raw? Yeah. You say it's sweet, right? I mean, not that kind of sweet. See, when you talk about vegetables, a uh, sweet is a different kind of sweet. Now, what I can tell you is that once I add these different color peppers, right. all the peppers bring a different flavor, a different vibe to it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you that for a fact. I got my noodles, and you should know what kind of noodles these is. You do a little cooking yeah, yourself. That's penny pasta right there. Yeah. That's right. We got our little noodles here. Yes, sir. And there's not much water going on in them, so what I won't do is I'll drain them, but not this much. Drain them for me. All right. So, I, and I want to talk to your people back, you know, talk back to the people. I need uh, the, the strainer is right here, already ready for you. Perfect. Strainer is right here, already ready for you. And I, I want to talk back to your people. When you're dealing with the knives in the kitchen, be very careful before you end up like me. See, this happened to me yesterday, playing around. So you have to be very careful and take your time and stay and keep all kids and women who are not familiar with weapons out of harm's way. So what we're gonna do is when C come back, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a half a stick of this margarine, add it to the shrimp, of course. I take this cutting board and put it over here. So now I'm gonna take my customized cutting board. You can put it right there. All right. So what I do now is I take my shrimp and add the butter to it. Take my butter and my shrimp and add it in here. So what you want to do is just for the camera, yeah. we'll leave it in the strainer. But any other time, after you strain it, put it back in the pocket. This we're gonna cut it up in. Right. So we're gonna take our knife. It's easy. Make sure the knife is sharp. That way it's easy. It's easier to deal with and easier to cut up. Man, and was... you ain't got to worry about cutting your other hand. <laughs> All right. And it's very important that while you're cooking, that you clean up along the way. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. I'm going to watch you do it, see? Now, you remember how you saw me cut that? But one hand, no, you don't need that. You left-handed or right-handed? Left that look aki, but go ahead. 
Okay. Okay. Try to get a little closer. Mm. Nah, you got this. It ain't that bad. See, you ain't doing that bad. See, not for your first shot at it now. Give me a week with him. I'm going to have him like a pro. All right. All right, there we go. You ain't do too bad, see, but we need to we need to make this a little smaller. Hey, and people who, who are left-handed people, you are some amazing. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> left-handed people are amazing people. We don't need that no more. So now, Corey, listen what we got going on, Corey. So now I done added my chicken and my shrimp to the pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, get it, get it mixed together real good here. That look good. Yeah. If the camera wasn't looking, I'd probably use my hand. <laughs> so. Now what's this right here? This is minced garlic. Minced garlic. We gonna add a little salt. Salt, babe. It's all in the wrist when it's dealing with that salt and that pepper because you don't want to get nobody sugar diabetes. Add a little virgin olive oil. All right. A little more, you know, keep it wet. You know, you like it wet, see? <laughs> this man crazy. What, what's this right here? It's paprika. Paprika? Mixed with cayenne pepper. Oh, man. We're going to add a little ginger. Damn. That's like real ginger right there? Yes, yeah, grounded ginger. Now, this is grated garlic. It's got a, it, to me, it's got a different flavor than the minced garlic. Right. We're going to add that. So what I do is I'll turn the stove on just a little. Right, see? Right. Turn it on just a little. And remember, when you mix this stuff up, See, it look kind of crazy because you left-handed, but I got to get used to it. <laughs> I just got to get man, used to it. Man, we geniuses, man. You know, left-handed people geniuses. Left-handed people are brilliant because I don't see how you do it. So we add all these things together, right? See? Right. Now, what's now, next? What I do is I got a little, add some little island vibe here, some more jerk seasoning. Okay. Woo! About to be hot. Along with that, my one of my favorite thing to put in there. What's this? This is heavy whipping cream. Whipping cream. Heavy See, I whipping ain't never cream. Heard of that. Now we're gonna add. A little grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm also going to add my peppers. The bloody peppers. My onions and my peppers. Got to get all colors. Damn. Let me taste this right here. You don't see, you're not, you're not supposed to eat that kind of stuff like that now. Man, I wanted to taste the pepper. But I'm telling you now, I ain't never ate it like that. I don't know how it's going to turn out in the bathroom for you later. So, I put them over here. Did you put some onions in there, though? I want these sweet onions. Yes, I have onions in there. Now, how long we let this sit for? Uh, I just want, I want, I want my vegetables to remain crunchy. Right. So, about two, two, three minutes. Oh, that's on it. On medium high. And, you know, I want my vegetables still to remain crunchy and fresh. That's why I put them in last. Add the rest of the Parmesan cheese. Man. Always, you notice I keep cleaning up. I see. Always clean up. 
put the top on there. And we'll be right back to show y'all how this thing came out, all right? Hey, I'm Tamara, and this is the first episode of Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pot. Here are the top five hottest songs in the streets right now. An emphasis on streets, not industry. This means you can't go anywhere in the hood without hearing these songs. Let's get into it. We'll give Yo Gotti's dollar for dollar number five since everybody has been doing the challenge trying to get a record deal or a feature. The song was released January 26th of 2022. Coming in at number four, we have Moneybag Yo Scorpio. It was released November 24th of 2021. Moneybag Yo recently announced that this song is number one on Urban Radio, writing on his Instagram. Instagram story, for 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 you a super MF if you think I'm done. More to come, end quote. It's almost a skill in itself to be able to be a street artist and be on the radio at the same time. So congratulations to Money Bag Yo. Now for all my people that are always in their feelings, I got a song on this playlist for you too. Number three, we have Cold December by Rod Wave. It was released this year, January 17th, and people have been blasting it since. If you have TikTok, I feel like you know this song. Be amazing, be catchy, hours and hours by Money Long. Not only does the hood love this song, but couples are going to blast this in the next few days on Valentine's Day. It was released November 22nd of 2021. To show good faith, I'm going to throw in a bonus. OG Bobby Billions in the late Mo3 outside. It was released almost a year ago, but since Mo 3's untimely demise, the song has been on fire in the streets. And of course, I think we all can agree on this song. Since you can't go to your mama's house, the corner store, the candy lady without hearing this song. Number one, we have Kodak Black, Super Gremlin. And since it dropped on October 30th, 2021, people have been throwing shade, shade in their options. Which one of these songs do you listen to the most? Or maybe you haven't heard any of them yet. Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this is the top five on Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pot. Bitch, I got my pot. I know a lot of y'all black women out there trying to be elite and single, black and independent. Right. But just know it's a man's world, even in the kitchen. So while y'all trying to take over the business, we taking over the kitchen. And it look good too, boy. Woo! You ready to try it, see? Yeah, let's go. My mama always told me, don't never think no woman think you need her. Yeah, I see. Cause relationships choose one another. So let your man know, tighten up. Tighten up before you be my husband-in-law. Man. What do you think, see? That's him? Yeah. Yeah, that's mm. him. That's right. Damn. All right, so what's cooking in the kitchen today? We got the spicy, spicy, spicy baby face Ray. He's a rapper from Detroit. You know, I like Detroit. That's like my second home. And the ingredients that he put in this album, he got iceware in there. He got some young lean. He got G Herbo which is from Chicago. You know, they got a little spice over there too. And then he brought some other Detroit players in there like 42 Doug. So it's gonna be a little bit of spicy. I'm probably gonna give it like three and a half peppers, all right? So we're gonna give him three and a half peppers and check out tracks like he has steak and lobster. You know, that's what he got cooking in his kitchen. And he also got a, I think he taking shots at my boy Big Sean and that Richard Flair. So that's what we got cooking in the kitchen today. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. And since I showed you what we had cooking in the kitchen, I want to know what y'all got cooking in the rap game. What's hot nowadays? Hit me up. And since we showed y'all how we get down in the kitchen, y'all emailed us, send us a video, show us how y'all get down out there in the streets. 
on your food truck, on your barbecue grill, or in your backyard. Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and I approve this message.